One of the key advantages pro golfers take on to any golf course is preparation. They are clearly superb golfers and massively more skilled than amateurs, but how they prepare to play a golf course is another differentiator from regular players, and one vital aspect of that for many pros is the information and notes they have in the yardage book. The depth of information that tour pros have in these books is incredible, and to the layman it can often look like a baffling array of numbers and notes which belong more in an academic textbook rather than a golf notebook. The volume of information in them has got ever more complex over the years and added to the myriad of numbers that already come in it, the yardage book issued at PGA Tour event, individual caddies and players will then add their own notes based on past experience and their practice rounds. So in this video we take a look at what's inside a professional tour yardage book, consider how the rules have changed and explore the different ways different pros use them, including along the way looking at Colin Morikawa's yardage book for the famous par 3 12th hole at Augusta, Matt Fitzpatrick's notes for the scene of his famous US Open win at the 18th at Brookline in 2022, and also the details the great Tiger Woods keeps in his yardage book for the old course at St Andrews. The yardage books the pros have in their back pocket have come a long way. In the 1970s, nobody really had any real measurements to carry about in notebooks and often re relied just on pacing out certain shots. Since that time, the technology revolution which has hit golf clubs and golf balls has also hit the world of yardage books, and today multiple devices, including drones and high-tech serving instruments, are used to put together notebooks which contain all the details about a golf course the pros could ever want. On the PGA Tour, pros and caddies have relied in the yardage books of Fred Funk's former caddy, Mark Long, for the past 20 years, and these have an incredible amount of information in them, including 1. A photo of the hole from the tee, 2. An alternative overview diagram of the tees, the fairway and green, 3. A wind direction compass, 4. Yardages to and from various areas to the front, middle and other specifically identified points in the green, 5. Different points of elevation, and six close-ups of the greens illustrating contours and yardages. Indeed, pro yardage books are so precise that the detail included for every hole is unique, as different points are used to provide reference yardage points, and they are accurate up to half an inch. So much data and information are now available about PGA Tour golf courses that in recent times separate greens books have been produced, in addition to the full hole yardage books, to provide extra details about the contours of each and every green. Amazingly, these are put together through the use of a laser which measures each green to within one-eighth of an inch of accuracy. And the quest for the perfect information in pro yardage books does not end there, as every year these books are updated to record any changes that have been made at the course since the tournament was played the season before. This is also not mentioning the pin sheet, which is provided to the pros each day of tournament play and includes how far the pin is from the centre of the green and from the edges of the green it is closest to. Things don't stop there, however, when it comes to the information the pros have in these books. The books which are issued in the PGA Tour for each event are just the start. Each individual player and caddy can then start to add more notes to them specific to how they want to play the hole. At its most basic, some pros and caddies will simply transfer the information from the day's pin sheet into the yardage book, while others will make important reminders they don't want to forget, when they reach that hole. A great example of this can be seen here from Colin Murakawa's yardage book for the famous par 3 12th hole Augusta, where he quite clearly does not want to forget that lots of great players have found a watery grave by aiming too far right on that green. Others, such as Matt Fitzpatrick, devise shorthand codes for themselves to allow them to quickly note the info they want so that they don't slow down their group when deciding what to hit. Fitzpatrick also records the outcomes of every shot he plays and the combination of these things resulted in these notes in his yardage book for the 18th hole at the Country Club in Brookline this year, when he hit what he has described as the shot of my life to win the 2022 US Open. Talking about this 72nd hole with Golf Digest, Fitzpatrick explained the following about his coding. At point 2, the FR means the pin was in the front right, while SU is his abbreviation for Sunday. 9R means the pin was 9 paces off the right of the green, Moving on to point three, NW means there was no wind, while his three wood off the tee missed 23 yards left of his target to finish in the bunker left. 
Coming then to that famous shot out of the sand at point four, he notes he hit nine iron and no wind to cover the 150 yards he had to the front of the green and the 156 yards which remained to the flag. Point five then explains he ended up 18 feet away with a left to right small breaking flat putt which he stroked to one foot away for a tap-in win to secure victory by one stroke from Will Zalatoris. Still seemingly not quite content, Fitzpatrick even records at point six that he overread his first putt. As a consequence, it's clear some pros yardage books can be seen as a bit of a time capsule, recording the yardages, how a course was set up and what different clubs and approaches to holes they took in a specific tournament and year. Indeed, some pros such as Ian Poulter have made a feature out of their yardage books in their homes. A yardage book is handed to every pro and caddy at the start of every tournament. And given the detailed information which they include, you may think that all the pros carry them in their back pocket and refer to them constantly throughout their round. However, just like every pro's swing is different, individual pros use yardage books in different ways. Some pros rely on them totally, see them as a vital tool and will add a huge amount of extra notes to the already massive amount of data they already include when handed over to them. Former Masters champion Patrick Reed, for example, says he is constantly looking at his yardage book, while former USPGA champion Keegan Bradley uses it as a key part of his routine, taking it out and checking it for every shot. He also uses it as a guide, adding extra notes to it, such as one shot at a time, to help remind him to stay focused. Others, including two-time PGA Tour winner Matt Jones, not only use them as much as they can, but also use them in coordination with their caddies, with both using their own individual notebooks in every hole to get a yardage and then cross-checking their numbers to confirm they're right. There are then other groups of pros, however, who actually don't use their yardage books at all and rely entirely on their caddies to give them the correct yardage and details for every shot they play. Two-time Masters champion Bubba Watson, former British Open champion Shane Lowry and four-time major winner Bruce Kepka are example of pros who don't carry a yardage book for a variety of reasons. Kepka, for example, used to carry a yardage book but stopped because he felt he got too detail-orientated as a result and it led him to focus too much on the negatives, such as where all the bunkers and hazards were before each shot. Bubba Watson doesn't carry one meanwhile because he feels he remembers everything well enough in his head from past tournaments and indeed tests himself each tournament against his caddy who carries a yardage book complete with details from the last five years. And the different habits and quirks between pros and the yardage books don't end there. The great Tiger Woods, for example, will always carry his yardage book in his back right pocket, but if he's only carrying a pin sheet without a yardage book, then he'll place the pin sheet in his front left pocket. Taking a look at the great man's notes in his yardage books from the old course at St Andrews, seen of two of his three British Open triumphs, we can see he even adds notes based on where the TV towers and grandstands have been placed in past tournaments. Indeed, he is on record as saying he's not sure he could actually play the old course without the TV towers because all his yardages are based on them and grandstands for alignment. So, as you can see, while all the pros and their caddies get issued with yardage books, they all use them in whatever way they feel will allow them to play their best. Technology, in the same way it has done with golf clubs and golf balls, has transformed the yardage books pros use. High-tech survey instruments, lasers and even drones are now used to put together the supremely detailed yardage books PGA Tour pros and their caddies carry around, but one thing that has not changed is the additional notes players and caddies add to their books. However much information they have contained in the past up to the present day, pros and caddies have always written extra notes similar to the ones we have already seen in their yardage books. And as a general rule, therefore, Golfers write notes in their yardage books that are specific to their game and course strategy. Added details often include wind strength and direction, clubs pay, played, club speeds and spin rates recorded in practice rounds, and past year's events together with reminder notes and how to play the hole also often been written. However, like the distance debate in golf, many people have become concerned about the level of detail now included and available to be added as notes to yardage books believing that it is reducing the amount of skill required. As a result, in 2022, the PGA Tour introduced a new player-driven rule that not only reduced the information available to pro golfers and their caddies about the greens in a course, but also the type of handwritten notes they would be allowed to add to their yardage books. From 2022 onwards, 
PGA Tour pros and their caddies will therefore be given a tour approved yardage book at every event they play. And although it will contain the same information from tee to green, the data provided when it comes to the greens has been hugely reduced. All the detailed information shown in the example green images has been removed and the green diagrams in the new yardage books only include the shape and depth of the green as well as small lines and arrows that highlight any slopes that measure 4.5% or more. In addition, pros are only able to add handwritten notes about the greens that come directly from the naked eye. As a result, golfers and caddies can add handwritten notes about greens and slopes only if it has been gathered with their own eyes and not if it has been told to them by someone else or been gathered with the help of slope reading technology. This rule change about handwritten notes has however in particular proved controversial as lasers, launch monitors and other tech can still be used anywhere other than on the greens to measure and add notes and distance or slope percentage or any other data the pro wants. A memo sent from the PGA Tour to players said, the purpose of this rule is to return to a position where players and caddies use only their skill, judgment and feel, along with any other information gained through experience, preparation and practice to read the line of play on the putting green. However, many, including the youngest member of Golf Magazine's top 100 teachers in America, Chris Como, and renowned putting coach Phil Kenyon have questioned the sense of the new handwritten notes rule on the basis of it only being applied to putting in the greens and not other areas of the course. What a ridiculous rule, wrote Kenyon. It's stupid, in fact. It serves no purpose. It's indeed skill limiting. This comment was quickly agreed with by Bryson DeChambeau, who has long been a big believer in, data, in a data-driven approach to golf. And Chris Como added, Anything that impedes innovation of thought or practices takes away from the beauty of the game. I think it's a mistake to go down the, if you're going to do it in putting, do it across the board rabbit hole. Just don't do it. One of the great joys of this game is the endless treasure hunt of finding small edges that add up over time. Whether the rule remains or not, however, one thing is clear. Pros and their caddies will continue to write any handwritten notes into their yardage books that they feel will help their game and are also within the rules. I hope you find this video useful. Please check out our other great videos in Golfing Focus and most importantly, enjoy your golf.